Keto. What are you guys getting for Whole Foods? What are you getting? Are you keto? Are you keto? What the fuck? I'm getting ketosis right now. Oh shit. It's okay, I got it, I got it. Just another Sunday. We're outside. <laughs> Finally. If you can tell by the construction. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Just got home from hanging out with Drew. I want to show you guys some things. Two things. Three. Kind of. For those of you guys who live in Los Angeles, Wasteland is a pretty popular store out here and it was my first time going back in like, I mean, over a year, two years maybe, maybe two years. I feel like I've gotten so used to shopping on Depop and going to other thrift stores that sell more like vintage, older items. And I felt like everything at Wasteland was clothing. Drew and I were both saying this, it was like, clothing that dates back like <laughs> maybe a few years. I was saying just a lot of current brands, which if you're looking for that, then that's great. But I did get a suit. It's such a good color. It's by Max Mara, which I actually haven't heard of. It was a little bit pricier, but this fabric, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it almost looks waxed and the pants are a little bit they're either a little bit big on me or they're meant to be low rise, but they sit low rise and they look good. We also stopped by Heaven Marc Jacobs. The store was so, so cute. It's on Fairfax. And I just loved this little top. I love a good high V-neck. Like if it's too low, then it reminds me too much of like the Victoria's Secret V-necks that everyone wore in middle school. If you know, you know. And we're sharp in the mix. A week and a half ago. A co? A week? <laughs> a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. Your butler's so weird right now. Good. Thanks babe, I've really been working it. We garden now, we have a garden. It's from Lettuce Grow, it's an aquaponics garden. It's so good. It's so cool. We're already seeing some major growth, so we're gonna do... <laughs> it's crazy how fast it's growing. Oh, Essentially, so it's, I know, it's so, it's so hot. hot. I'm really excited. I'm I'm so excited to have so much lettuce. You get to pick and choose what seedlings. Are you gonna get your custom shot? Yes. We have the 36 seedling lettuce grow outdoor tower. I'm not being paid to make this video or talk about this. I am just geeking out. They also sell like these lights so you can have it indoors if you don't have the right, you know, climate to have it year round, but for us it really works out, which is great, but it's an aquaponics garden. So basically at the base of the tower is a bunch of water. There's a timer that's connected to it. And so it shuts off every 15 minutes and turns back on every 15 minutes. It depends on like how hot your climate is. So I am very excited to start making salads that grown in our backyard. That's gonna be crazy. Also, I'm really excited for like green onions, like just things that you don't buy at the grocery store on your own usually. I mean, guys, the work. We are talking everything. It's so great. One of the cuter things that you can do is label your little plants. I wrote everything out and it looks so cute. Beggar. Just being a beggar, begging. Succeeded. Damn. And this is why she begs. She would beg even if we never, ever gave her anything. You think so? I don't know. I she, she, she's in her DNA. I know, it's true, it is in her DNA. But we definitely Plans. encourage the behavior. I'm not helping anybody. No. This morning I had a box open. Malibu milk, organic flax milk. Peaches got into it and dribbled some milk on the carpet. I told her no, she's a bad girl. And she went and sat in her crate for a little bit. Crazy that dogs really feel shame. I wanna try this. Oh. Oh, peaches. I'm excited to try this though. I've never had flax milk. It has fiber, omega-3s, and prebiotics. I wonder, I bet it's better for the environment than like almond milk, because you know how almond milk requires a lot of water. Yeah, almonds are like bad for the environment. 
Ooh. We're used to like vanilla flavored milk. That's like flax flavored. Because this is unsweetened. I like it. This would be a really good creamer, you're right. New Fine. milk unlocked. I'm gonna transfer this. Huh? Oh, oh, there's so, oh, who would have thought? After learning that a single glass of almond milk requires 20 gallons of water. Did you hear that? Peach. <laughs> Guys, this is, I don't make this up. We have the weirdest dog. You are something else, Peachy. Oh my gosh. Look back, get it. You can hear that it's on right now. But seriously, look at how much growth we are seeing after a week and a half. This row right here is thriving. Butter lettuce is doing great. Baby lettuce mix, we've got two of those. Broccoli, this one is gonna get so big. That will be crazy. Green beans. These two are tomatoes, mini cucumber, mini cucumber, green onion, astro arugula, mint, cilantro, basil, thyme, rainbow Swiss chard. Oh, jalapeno peppers. We're also gonna have regular lunchbox peppers. Spinach is coming along. Like what, like all of these different lettuces? Dappled butter lettuce. What are these even? These are summer lettuce. That one is red leaf. The two romaines. Dude, this is everything to me. Let me know if you guys want more updates as they grow. Little life update. A few days ago, I had my first therapy session in my entire life. You guys know. I mean, you, you guys know. I have been meaning to try out therapy for such a long time. It probably would have been very useful to have six months ago which would have started six months ago and worked my way to today, but that's okay. I'm sure in a month I'm gonna be like, <gasps> guys, it's so much work, but right now it's just been such a great release so far. I honestly was scared that I wouldn't have enough to talk about. I never felt like I needed it because I, I always just categorized myself as someone who is very stable, emotionally stable, can work through problems on her own. And for the most part, my entire life, I've had to have those conversations with myself and talk myself out of being upset, being angry, being resentful, all these jealous, whatever it is. There's so much to unpack with what tools and traits you build in your childhood in order to make you feel protected and safe with yourself and loved and all of those things that like our inner child wants and needs. So many of those tools that we unconsciously attain and build up are unnecessary in adulthood. And I didn't realize that I held on to so many of those kind of until recently. I've always been a really big people pleaser and it's hard for me to say no and there's certain things that I do to avoid conflict because I'm so scared of conflict. I didn't learn until recently how much I have been guarding myself my entire life. Oh my God, already like one session in. First of all, cried during the 10 minute consultation. Like something just snapped and I was like, this is why I need this. And she was like, okay, so that clearly makes you very upset, great. So we're gonna work on that. And then doing the first session, I've already learned so much about why I do certain things or avoid certain things. Here's a little discovery that I made about myself, one of the many, just from one session. When I am met with an invitation or request that raises a no in me, I subconsciously recognize that as conflict and I get anxious facing it. Having an opposing opinion against someone has always registered as as conflict for me, but I'm not consciously realizing that. In that moment, I convince myself of all the reasons why I should do it and why saying yes is better than saying no. And this is the part that I realized once I heard that growing up, what I do there, I labeled and concealed that as having a positive mindset. I believed that I naturally just saw the positive sides of every situation, when in reality, I'm just afraid of any amount of conflict and specifically being the source of it. Someone will invite me to do something or do something for them, with them, whatever it is. Even if I initially feel that no inside of myself, I've trained myself to always think and feel subconsciously, no, but if I did, it would be a great exercise and I would be able to get some vitamin D and 
and if I just make it shorter then I can still get my work in and it'll make them really happy because I haven't seen them in a few weeks so it's great because I'll be able to like check out the friend box and I just list all the reasons why I should say yes and then convince myself that that is the best option for me. It almost leaves me thinking like okay so if the root of this issue is that I'm afraid of conflict because I've been thrown in so much conflict in my life, keeping it vague, the fact that possibly letting someone down by saying no registers enough as a conflict for myself to protect myself from hurting anyone, from letting anyone down, from anyone being mad at me, and then what ends up happening is I'm doing the opposite of protecting myself. I'm actually just not listening to myself, not taking care of myself. And we all know at the end of the day, like no one is ever as offended or hurt as you, you think they would be. Yeah, I, I'm so excited to continue to see where therapy takes me. At the end of the day, I have so many things to be grateful for and I'm generally so happy. You know, my days are good, but that still doesn't diminish the fact that therapy can be useful for for everyone because that's what I told myself my entire life was just like I'm good I don't need that I don't need that our mindset and our brains and minds are everything it's it's the filter that we're seeing life through it's the identities that we give ourselves I can't wait to read the comments that are like yes Claudia, this is what we've been telling you to do. Welcome to therapy. We jumped in a little late, but it's fine. It's fine, we're here, we're doing it. And also it's never too late. So I'm just making this clip to inspire any of you guys that have been like looking for a sign, but just not ripping off the band-aid yet. Self-care. Pack it in. Oh, pack it in. That's so good, babe. Bring to a boil two people like is there an option to like you just get down poppy came out with some classic soda flavors and this is the dock pop i really like that one that's crazy oh my god why do these look so good oh look, look at <laughs> okay, <let's> go. <laughs> it's delivered yeah 